Bilbo Baggins' big adventure. How he left his cozy hobbit hole to join a band of vagabond dwarves on a poorly planned expedition across the Misty Mountains. How they were nearly eaten by trolls and then met some really nice elves and strange little and uh proceeded to vanquish goblins, wolves, spiders, and this one strange little fellow with a golden ring. Legend tells how they tricked the ancient dragon Smog out of his trove of stolen treasure, shot him dead, and reclaimed the lonely mountain for the dwarf folk forever. That is not this story. <laughs> it is rather a less flattering tale, which takes a place a few years after Bilbo returned to the Shire, laden with gold and somewhat changed by his sudden fortune. It tells how he had a very different kind of adventure and learned, well, we shall see if he learned anything in the end. Enjoy A Hobbit's Christmas Carol. <laughs> Just me and a few of the fellows. I'd sooner stay home and eat gruel. Suit yourself. Do come by tomorrow if you change your mind. Oh, and don't forget the fruitcake. <laughs> Merry bah. Christmas. Probably just a mild hallucination. Perhaps some tainted pipeweed. 
Well, off to bed, Bilbo, old boy. Sweet dreams. Christmas past. So the resemblance? Uh, yes, quite. How can I help you? No, it is not how I want to help, how you want to help me. It's how I want to help you. I will show you sins from your past. and then maybe later there might be a present for you. We weren't really close. And later at store. <laughs> <laughs> Think of what you are missing. Perhaps I have been a bit hot. 
wash with the boy. Wake up, Mr. Bergens. <gasps> Who are you? I have many names, but for tonight, I am the spirit of Christmas and epic trilogies yet to come. I am Aragorn, son of Arathor. <laughs> you are so impressive and kingly and ruggedly attractive. <laughs> Take me where you will, spirit. <laughs> Another Christmas in years to come. No! No! <laughs> Well, it won't be Christmas without Uncle Bilbo, insufferable as he was. How did he die? Massive heart attack. One too many second breakfasts, I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> I surely will miss the old fellow. Well, rest his soul. What's to become of his money, then? Well, he had no friends and little enough family, so I imagine we'll all get a share of it, and the rest will go to charity. Uncle Lotho can't wait to move into the house. Not Lotho! That odious warthog and his stupid wife in my nice hobbit hole! I'd sooner go to Frodo any day! He's, he's an aimless young twit, but at least he has potential! <laughs> Peace, Bilbo. These are but shadows of what may come to pass. But, but what will come to pass? I can still change. I can become a better hobbit! Oh, oh, what will become of me? And of Frodo? Ah, now that would be telling, wouldn't it? <laughs> Good night, Mr. Baggins. We may yet meet again. Oh. Well, that was a very peculiar dream. No, not a dream, an epiphany! Ah, oh, it's Christmas morning, the Shire is beautiful, and I'm not dead!
Bucket as well as it ever does, really. <laughs>